You can't hide from your own history. Republican Solomon Pena is not afraid to admit he's made some mistakes in the past. I had nothing more than a desire to improve my lot in life. Pena served nearly seven years in prison after being convicted in 2008 of stealing a large amount of goods in a smash and grab scheme. Once he got out, he knew what he wanted to do. That's why I went and got my BA in political science at UNM. Um, and the state of the nation declining is what actually got me to run. Inflation's at 9%. He's now running for New Mexico House seat 14. But recently, his candidacy was put into question when the person who currently holds the seat, Democratic Representative Miguel Garcia, filed this suit against him. You cannot you know, hold public office unless you've been pardoned. Attorney Jacob Candelaria filed the case for Representative Garcia. When Pena found out, he was surprised. I'm disappointed with his decision. Well, a sitting legislator who, who voted for the restoration of citizenship statute, I'm disappointed that, that he's done this. Candelaria does admit that his client has supported such initiatives. Several years ago, he sponsored legislation uh, to restore the right to vote to persons convicted of a felony at the completion of their sentence um, uh, without requiring a pardon. But this week, a district court judge decided that Pena can, in fact, run for the New Mexico House. I was immensely relieved, uh, um, highly uh, blessed. Candelaria says he and his client are not disappointed with the decision, but do want to clarify what the state law allows when it comes to ex-felons running for office. The public and all of us need a final decision on this issue. Uh, on, on whether or not state law, which prohibits persons convicted of a felony from serving in public office, is indeed unconstitutional. Yes, sir.